Hello students, today we are going to do SST and the chapter is chapter number 4, A Good Citizen Being Responsible. In the previous class, we had done uh, till what is private property, what are public property, who is a good neighbor. So today we will do elections. You know, India is a democratic country. Democratic country means in a democracy, the citizens, we the people have the right to choose our leaders and the leaders form the government and they rule the country. So the process of electing the leaders is called elections. In India, elections take place for the entire country as well as for every state. All Indian citizens who are 18 years old or above can cast their vote to choose the leaders. So this process is known as voting. People who cast their vote are called voters. Those who give votes are known as voters. Elections need to be planned and organized. So who takes care of this? The election commission. This is an organization that plans and conducts election in India. It decides the dates, the venue, place, holds the elections, calculates the results and announces them. So the election commission is an organization that plans each and everything. The election commission issues every voter's an identity card that has details like name, address, date of birth and photograph of the voter. Each voter carries their identity card to the place allotted to them for casting their vote. So a voter card has to be carried by the uh, 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 a voter will carry a identity card for casting their votes and that identity card has name address date of birth and photograph so this place is called a polling booth these days voting is done through electronic voting voting machine where the voter can cast their vote by pressing just the button voting is done by a secret ballot so the election commission ensures that the election take place in fair and impartial manner. Now, do's. Citizens who are 18 years and above must exercise their right to vote and should let it go, should not let it go waste. They should vote only once in the elections. Next, voters Vote and carefully choose their candidate who they think they will work towards the betterment of the people. In case a candidate is unable to work, work properly, he or she is not elected the next time. So voters will choose carefully who they want to choose as a candidate. And that candidate will work towards the betterment for the people and also for the society. So, we should ensure that the elections are fair and impartial. Don'ts. Voters should not get influenced by anyone and cast their vote to that person. We should not get influenced. Voters should not share the name of the person they vote for as it is called a secret ballot. So, Voters should not share the name of the person. We should not go and say we have given vote to this candidate, that candidate. So it, that's why it is known as a secret ballot. Only the voter will know who ha that voter only will know whom he has cast his vote towards, which candidate he only knows that. So this is also known as a secret ballot. So students, today we will do till elections and we have completed chapter number four in the next class we will do exercises